Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. So, you may have heard of natural weed killer, composed of vinegar, Epsom salt, and Dawn dish detergent. Well, uh, today I'm going to be mixing these three together and spraying some poison ivy I have and um, the grass that's growing in the middle of the road and we're just going to see how well this stuff works. Now, it's considered a natural weed killer um, because vinegar is natural, Epsom salt isn't really salt, it's magnesium sulfate, and here's the problem I have. Dawn dish liquid. There's a host of cancer-causing chemicals in here, um, some that are supposed to contaminate water. Um, we really shouldn't be touching this stuff with our skin, uh, much less eating off of it but it's a surfactant. So if you mix these two without the soap, then it will not stay on the leaves when you spray. And that's why we add soap. So let's mix this stuff together and go give it a test. A big thanks to my dad for letting me use his sprayer here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the vinegar. Probably put about half of this in here. That's close enough. All right, the salt next. Should be good. All right, yeah. pop some of this poison in here. Apparently this is a hormone blocker it acts like uh, estrogen, so uh, especially children shouldn't touch it, boys, because it will uh, mess up hormones and stuff. Fun, isn't it? Uh, xenoestrogens, I believe. Anyway, wash that salt down. Now, let's pump this guy up. I'm gonna give this thing a good shake. Get some of that Epsom salt mixed up in there. So this ditch here is packed full of poison ivy and I've been doing some weed eating, but of course it comes right back. So I'm gonna knock it down with our spray here. Pretty much anything this stuff gets on is going to go away, so be careful spraying it on stuff you want to keep. I also want to see how well this works on the grass in the middle of the road here, so I'm going to give that a spray. It smells like vinegar. Well, I got most of that grass sprayed. And then of course this poison ivy over here in the ditch. So I'm gonna wait 24 hours and um, bring you back and we'll see how well it's done. Well, just after spraying last night, we got a half inch of rain and it washed off the vinegar from all the plants. So I'll have to spray them again to finish this test. Well, it's been a week since I was out here before, and uh, some of the grass actually did die off that was uh, in the road. But I think I had two real problems. First of all, it rained a half inch, and uh, all the uh, solution was washed off the leaves. But secondly, I found out you're supposed to spray this 
uh, in the middle of the day when it's really hot out. So I'm back out here today. Uh, it's already 80 out here. So hopefully we'll get some results this time. Well, it's now been a week and I've come back out to check our natural weed killer and it does not do very well on the second application. So some of the leaves, like this one, uh, do have some brown spots on them, but uh, the plant is still thriving fairly well. Now, down the road there were uh, some grass spots that actually did uh, die off pretty well, but um, not what I was expecting. So with two applications of the weed killer, I'd say it's not very effective. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the grass is a little bit brown. Well, after two applications of the natural weed killer, I'm gonna have to say it's not very effective on spraying a large area. Now, my mom went out uh, at work and she was able to spray a small bed and thoroughly soak each plant and it died within uh, two days. So the stuff works, but with the way I've been spreading it thin across a large area, not very effective. So I think my next natural weed killer will be to uh, get a couple of goats and see how well these weeds hold up to them. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments on how to make this work better, please let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. Take a moment to subscribe and thumbs up, and I will see you next time.